Welcome back to the show coming to you today from the fishing town of Bermagui, somewhere that we've spent a lot of time. It is a place very dear to our hearts, Andrew, but Bermagui is not just a fishing town, it's also a timber town with a history stretching back more than 100 years, and it is a town with a story to tell. That story starts here in the forest, just five minutes drive to the north of Bermagui, a forest which has been logged on and off for more than 150 years, the last harvest taking place in 2009. This is what we call a modified integrated operation. Um, in this operation we work to a plan. The plans are drawn around all the licences and conditions that are put on us. We were allowed to take 40% of the uh, basal area, which is a standing volume out of this area when we, when we harvested last. If you do it this way, um, you've got the young, young trees growing, as soon as you cut a gap anywhere there'll be more regrowth come up, and that grows on and you just keep that cycle going. At the time, some of the local community were dead against the harvest, the issue making local news. Little did they know the logs being carted out would soon become the centrepiece of their little fishing town. Geez, Al, the forest has come back pretty good after our harvest operation in 08, 09. Yeah, well, it's only been three, three to four years, and yeah, no, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much a good example of a sustainable forest that you cut every, you know, every 30 years or so. So, yeah, it's looking right. good. Yeah. My job is to uh, look after quality control. Um, for the saw logs. We got some high grade um, spotted gum and some very good stringy bark and some, some of which has been used in the local area here. So Bermagui Forest has been a, uh, a working forest for about 130 years ago. Back then they were building boats out of it and in this latest harvest they take 40% of the standing stems in the forest and that means only the very best saw logs are coming out. And the pick of those logs didn't have far to come. They were popped on the back of a truck and brought here to Eden. It's only 100 k's down the road with our process. That mill is the family-owned operation Blue Ridge Hardwoods, the business also with a rich history in the area, operating various mills for over 60 years. Their state-of-the-art setup in Eden provides a range of products, all from Australian native forest. When the logs return to Bermagui, this is what they became. Yes, and here it is 100 years ago. The timber from around here provided timber for boats. Now they've built this beautiful centre attraction in the town. The timber story comes full circle. And one of the nice kind of gentle ironies of the Bermagui Fishermen's Co-op is that the people who were against the forest operation in the beginning probably now come here to get their morning latte. I think it's a good story. Fantastic. Yeah. I think it's a good story um, that here's an area of wood, actually, which was logged, clear felled 90 years ago, regrew, was harvested, 50% canopy retention, and the products actually ended up five minutes down the road in the town of Bermagui, where a lot of the concern was held. I think, I think that's quite an interesting sort of play. The Fisherman's Wharf is owned by a bunch of fishers who decided a few years ago they needed a more streamlined co-op because quite a few of them had been bought out and the daily catch was falling. So instead of just building a co-op, they built something the whole community could use. At the start, a few of us thought, well, we are a bit crazy building something at this size and we are just fishermen and not business people. But uh, after a bit of conv convincing by some certain people, we decided to go ahead with it and it was going to be financially viable for us. Blue Ridge Hardwoods is a family owned operation at Eden in southern New South Wales. It sources native forest timber from around the area and mills it into a wide range of products including floorboards, framing and in this case poles and cladding for the Bermagui Fisherman's Wharf which by the way is open to the public and welcomes visitors next time you might be driving through the town. And that's all we've got time for on this week's episode of Going Bush. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Here's a look at what's coming up next week. From the wild western wilderness of Tasmania into the boardroom of one of Australia's best known faces. The plan to use forest biomass to produce power and a family changing with the times in northern New South Wales.